Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson. Today, we have a great video in store. Also, by the way, I'm a little sick right now. Um, bear with me with my voice. But I'm going to break down how you can contact the county, okay? You can contact the county when it comes to getting access leads, when it comes to doing due diligence on properties. We are not running a secret business. This is not an illegal business, okay? So... I'm gonna tell you how you can contact the county. I'm gonna give you some examples on how the county actually responds to me. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit the like and hit the subscribe button. You guys know I'm coming out with content weekly just to give you guys tips and tricks on how to be successful in this industry. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So right now, this is my um, first example on how the county responded to me. And I just wanna let you guys know the full email template if you want to know how to contact the county, exactly what to say that is in my course, use um, code take action for hundred dollars off. You get access to that. It comes with my mentorship, all of that. If you want, want to get into the course, but pretty much I reached out to them and this is what they said as requested. Um, you know, accounts with balances in the far right column represent funds available for disbursements. Be sure to use tabs at the bottom of the report for prior year holdings. Also attached our annotated code of Maryland reference. Um, relating to distribution of proceeds, Washington County will not disperse any funds without a court order issued by the circuit court. So basically, they're, they're telling you that, you know, an attorney is required. You, you will have to um, file a claim with the circuit court. That's OK. And they have here they have the information, you know, they're giving you the rules. They're giving you pretty much everything. So, you know, that was great. I took advantage of the list, got active on that one. So that's one way that they can respond. So. Another way is, and as you guys can see at the top, I, you know, greetings, this email is a formal request for a copy of your county's excess funds list. So the best way to contact the county is through email, formal request. You can call them as well, but you might get a representative on the phone who doesn't know what they're talking about. When you send these emails, these are public records, these are formal requests. You know, somebody who has knowledge is supposed to answer and, and give you the information that you need. So here, the list you requested is attached. This is the only list maintained by this office. If you want additional details, you may need to contact the sheriff's office. You know, this county, it was considered a sheriff's sale. You know, most of the time, these are either tax deed sales, tax lien sales, or sheriff sales. Okay, this next one, boom, they just straight up gave me the excess funds list. You know, no information needed. Um, Boom, they, they just gave me straight exactly what I need. So that was perfect. That was in Georgia. So a lot of you guys watching, oh, um, excess proceeds aren't allowed in Georgia, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're right here. Um, last example I'm going to give you guys is here. Um, you know, they explained to me, hello, Eric, thank you for your email. The final report of sale of our most recent tax auction in March is not yet available. You may access the information when it is published on our website and they give you the link. So these counties... They're either going to give you the information you need, you know, they're going to give you the excess funds list, or they're going to give you links to what you need, or they're going to um, lead you in the right direction. Okay, so here they gave me the link. Sometimes they might refer you to somebody else who might have it in a different department, or they're going to tell you that they don't have this. They don't have any excess proceeds list. So. You know, that might be a county you may stay away from, but I love to email the county. Like I said, this is not an illegal business. This is not a secret business. Um, everything is out there, public records. I will say this, whether you're doing a phone call or an email, you do have to be knowledgeable and you do have to be professional. Now these emails are considered public records, so they can be published on the county's website. So make sure when you send these emails, that everything is nice. You're not giving out any personal information like that, you know, because it, you know this is something that other people will be able to see. But like I mentioned before, if you want to know exactly how to contact them and get the exact email template that I use, it is in the course. Take advantage of the code Take Action for hundred dollars off, and you guys will have my mentorship, and you know, hopefully we can get some deals done. Thank you guys for watching.